this is just a quick video on see if I can get rid of that echo. Is that better? Um, how to use a program called ProDatum. And um, I use a MIDI interface, which is the Yamaha UX16. I'll put the name of it in the description below. So that's the interface and the USB. Stuck. And that basically just plugs in to the uh, EMU at the back. I, I, I label things like that. So you connect to out these connectors I can't see what's on them very easily so once I found it works I label it up so I plug an in can't see that uh, an in and an out to the back of the emu this is the um, the Proteus 2000 here got my audio outs MIDI and uh, power that's just out of shot so once I've connected it up to the Proteus, flip it over. So there we have the Proteus. And in the search bar, If we can get it to focus, which I can't, uh, I'm going to type in Prodatum. P R O D A T U M. And that then comes up Prodatum official homepage. Not everything is by coincidence like that. Uh, so I'm going to go down features here to download for Windows because I'm on Windows 10. Uh, that takes you to SourceForge. Uh, as you can see, your download will begin shortly. There it is. Uh, we put that. I'm going to put that on the desktop. And that has appeared. Let me just close that window. So it's appeared there. Right click. Uh, I've installed 7-zip. So I'll extract to prolate them. Again on the desktop. So now I will move that zip file out of the way go here which is the folder open it up and I've got read me which tells you you can launch it in portable configuration so to do that, it'll check for this folder, ProDatum config, which is already there, it's made it already. And if it is, that'll put all the config files in there, which is what I want. So now I'm going to double click ProDatum itself. Let's close that Explorer window. And move that so we can see it. And here's Pro Datum. So the bit we want is let me just move this across a bit. There we go. So now I'm looking here, open device. No device in there at the moment, but I haven't yet switched on the uh, the Proteus, so I'll switch that on now.
Proteus is booting up. Finished. I'm going to select uh, MIDI ports now. And at the moment, in this list, I don't see the USB. And that is because I haven't plugged it in. So I'll plug it in now and we'll see what happens. And nothing comes in. So I'm going to exit the program. I'm doing this basically because I found these various problems when I didn't know where to find ProDatum, didn't know how to install it. And then when I got it installed and switched on, it just didn't work. So I'm going to go back into the folder. Double click ProDatum again. And there to select MIDI port and now it's arrived so the reason it didn't come up the reason that didn't come up first is because I put the interface in after I ran the program but now I've got it there I can select it that's the out port and I'll select the in port the same now you can see no you can't <laughs> Now you can see, hopefully, the composer ROM's been identified within the Proteus. So it tells you which ROMs you have. Let me just move that down a bit so we can see it on screen. And move that across a bit. So the next thing I need to do uh, I can request device information. That just double checks we've got the right device on, just in case you've got other devices connected. And then open. So then what it does is this synchronizing. So it's loading all the names of the presets, all the user banks, and putting it in there. So it actually uses the information of the unit. It doesn't take long, but it does take a while. <laughs> you can also look at the log. This shows you all the names being updated. So that's a fun thing to do if uh, you like that kind of thing. Well, that's why it takes a while. It's, it's looking through every single one of those. And on the unit, you'll see the flashing green light there. That's because the MIDI information is transmitting. So now there we go. It should have completely updated the list in there. Um, you can use this list because it's still there on the log and you can scroll through and look at all your different voices. There's absolutely thousands of them. <laughs> Almost literally. Certainly over a thousand. So, it also gives you some information here. And once, if there's no errors there, we're happy. Close the sync log. Bring this screen back down so we can see it. Perhaps zoom out a bit. And there we have it. ProData is now installed. If we want to check to see if it works. Um, if you have your own user programs already put in. Um, and I go over here to uh, program 
as you double click, see the screen changes. Uh, you can do the same over here, uh, main screen. It's got all your channels. You, you can get to know the program. That's that's not a problem, is it? Uh, without me babbling on. Um, I've got all the presets down this side here. Um, so that one there is my analog blank, my analog planet, and so on, because they're the ones I've put in there. Um, what you can do as well is if you go to, it says key B there, that's keyboard, so it brings up a virtual piano keyboard and you can play. Uh, you can leave that up on screen. There we go. And have a, a play about with that. So, um, maybe in the next video I'll edit a voice using the program if I can find a way to do it fairly effectively. And um, have fun playing with that and that. <laughs> See you later.